Hey, it's Joe from Jam with Joe. Got another theory short for you. Why are those numbers in my music and what do they mean? The answer is as easy as do re mi. That's right. Do re mi fa so la ti. Do re mi fa so la ti. Just repeats and repeats and repeats. We're talking about the diatonic scale. So when they talk about the numbers, they're talking about the positions of the diatonic scale. We're going to use the scale of C and it has no sharps or flats, so it's really easy. So the first note of the C scale is C, the second is D, the third is E. You get where this is going? Of course you do, don't be ridiculous. Fourth is F, seventh is B, and then it repeats. But for the numbers, we use eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've never seen anything over 13, but if there was something over 13, you'd just keep on counting over and over again in the scale. Now, chords are represented by Roman numerals. So in a nutshell, when we see numbers, they reference notes from the scale added to chords. So here's a C chord and they want you to add the major seven. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, you would add a B note. C, A, D, 11, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, you would add an F note. Roman numerals reference the scale's chord roots. So in the key of C, then one, four, five blues would start with in C. The next chord would be C, D, E, F. And the final missing chord is the fifth one, G. So in the jazz, frequently used two, five, one progression in the key of C, you would start in C, D. All right, you would start in D. Then go to the five, E, F, G. You would go to a G chord, and then you would go to the root. That's all there is to it. Have fun. Play more guitar.